Hello, welcome back to Venus Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, uh, we're gonna try to recreate um, this sculpture uh, that you can see here. Um, you probably know uh, this guy. He's uh, Nelson Mandela, of course. And this sculpture uh, kind of uh, interesting for me because it's kind of like a. It looks like 3D, but uh, it's not actually 3D. I mean, it's made of this a uh, bunch of sticks but uh, when you look at it from certain angle you can see Nelson Mandela's head uh, kind of recreated like this and this is from the the good angle it looks like his face and I will try to recreate it uh, in 3d and I'm thinking to also turn it into augmented reality um, so yeah this is what I came out with this is actually the, the final result um this is not nelson mandela this is uh this is based on the photo of my brother who recently passed away so it's kind of like a you can do this for anyone uh, i mean someone a person that you admire uh it can be your parents can be can be nelson mandela or you know any famous person but uh, in this case i'll i'll pick him i admire him for his passion during his short life but uh I guess yeah let's just uh let's break down this node setup basically it's really simple it's a uh, in blender here um, i have this uh, stretch of nodes and i've done this a couple of times basically uh, let me save this uh, really quick if uh what i, I started with is just a uh, displacement map so basically i have a photo of my bro here and then I kind of displace this uh, grid this is 80 by 80 uh, grid so we have a total of 1600 points that we can displace and so we get a face right and uh, and then based on this displacement I kind of just uh, need to get the U or the V lines of the grid that's the basic idea and what we can end up with is something like this so if you can see here i'm basically kind of extracting the is it the v or the u i think u v uh, anyway this is the the horizontal lines of the grid so we can get this uh, really interesting result already this is based on the displaced uh, uh, mesh, of course. I'm just using spread chalk to do this. Uh, let's have a look. So this is a plane, and I turn it into a grid, and the grid get displaced. I'm using a Blender displacement modifier. And then once it's displaced, I can kind of source um, that mesh. And this is uh, where I source the displaced uh, grid. And I'm using the list slicing, and this is what I'm uh, doing here. There's this uh, little trickery with a with a range integer. So I got I know that there is a pattern between start and stop. So 0, 80, 80, 160, 160, 240, and so on and so on. So I can make two different pattern that I can. Uh, I don't need the split. I I don't think so. I just plug this into this guy into list slicings and this connects to the UV connections and at the very end we are using polyline viewer and we get this interesting line but that's uh, that's not finished yet because from this displaced line we know there's a certain certain value that's a so if we have like a lines like this kind of uh, sampling uh, the positive and the, neg the negative of the of the image we can eventually get something like this if we just pass in the the value of displacement into the radius i've done something similar in the past but i'm using just like a just like a single line spiral maybe you remember the old video and this is also the same uh, similar kind of uh, idea so let's look at the final so i get this and you can see this is very very similar to this uh, Nelson Mandela sculpture very very similar I tested SAR and it's kind of working okay 
the Nelson Mandela one has a lot more detail along the lines there what I have is just like a kind of like a cylinder maybe uh, some kind of aboriginal pipes but this is uh, what I got and yeah so I can turn it this, this into air if you look at it from different angle it looks just like a bunch of sticks from the right angle you can see the person's face so you can try this uh, you can uh, pick a photograph of a person you admire can be anything you know you can admire like a, you can admire like a robot anime or kaiju or whatever Godzilla and just use it with this setup and you can get you can end up with this interesting sculpture so that's the idea anyway you can you can print it out if you like um, so yeah we start from a uh, with a grid this is a very low res grid 80 by 80 it's I keep it square to keep it simple and I output it you can see here and then the output get displaced and based on the displacement I'm just sourcing the displacement value pass it into this uh, list slicing setup and and then we get to this thing that is turning the lines it's actually modifying the lines and the radius you can see we only like working with 80 lines um, yeah so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple I can still a bit, have a little bit of control with the with the multiplier of the value for the radius and then this is like the minimum uh, lines all right that's I guess pretty cool um, oh actually there is one more thing this is just randomizing the the X and the Y if I go too far of course we get like something that's totally random but if I zero it out it's back to the original so that's a uh, that's my bro there and yeah there you go it's I think it's a good idea to make something real you know um, I get a lot of inspiration from sculpture I really like to remake a 3d sculpture turn it into AR because it's a I would like to see like this real sculpture in real life but uh probably it's really hard to get there where is this exactly in maybe in Cape Town but you can recreate this as AR and then you you just project it and then look at it uh, in in your own space I guess so that's the idea hopefully you find this useful um, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye